A male tourist remains in critical condition after being pulled from Tumon Bay earlier this afternoon. It appears that the individual was resuscitated, so the person's now at uh, the hospital. We're headed up there to see uh, how well he may be doing and hopefully, you know, he'll be okay. The man was pulled from the waters just behind Outrigger Hotel, where many played a role in getting him help. Chief for a Secure Solutions Guam Operations Director Paul Suba. From my understanding, uh, the hotel security, as well as GPD, GFD, and uh, the gentleman you see behind me, the VSOs, and the pool, uh, I mean the uh, vendors here, they all lent a hand to uh, help bring in this individual, render him CPR, and then uh, see that he got transported to the hospital. Suba warns all that even if the waters look calm and inviting, take notice of all advisories. We've got strong currents and uh, higher high tides, uh, you know, during this time of the year. Uh, so just everyone please take caution when entering the water. Of course, we're looking at uh, our guests that aren't aware of these things, so we're trying to help educate them both uh, when they come in for, uh, with their tour guides and their tour companies, the hotels and everyone else to help them to understand the conditions here. Even though the water looks great, there's strong currents and if they're not uh, knowledgeable of how to swim, uh, they can get themselves in trouble. In response to the need for more lifeguards, Suba confirms GovGuam and the private sector are joining forces to keep tourists and residents safe in the water. I know that the director of uh, Parks and Rec, Ray Bloss, is working diligently to uh, uh, train, hire and train uh, uh, more lifeguards. And so between uh, GovGuam and the private sector, we're working in partnership uh, to be able to do this, uh, to safeguard all our, our uh, beachgoers. According to Guam Memorial Hospital spokesperson June Perez, the male individual has yet to be identified and remains in critical condition. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.